Hey, hey, everybody. It's time for another Elite Trainer Box. I got the Pokemon Celebrations, which is released for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, of course. I'm back in the back room. I have some good light above me, so I'm going to crack this open. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for in this set. Not anything specific, but I do know I'm looking for reprints of vintage cards is what I'm looking for. Cards as far back as first edition and even stuff from like Jungle, Fossil, all those old school sets. I'm gonna take off the overlay or the, you know, this thing like so. If you open it up, there's no like actual artwork on the inside of this one. Some people are gonna hate that. It's just the 25 logo. Then it says train on with the big lightning bolt. We're not going to have any use for that, nor do we have use for the player's guide for the Pokemon TCG. I'm actually going to lower this a little more just so you guys can see it a bit better. So I'm going to take that off. Take out this bit of filler cardboard. We do have a Pokemon trading card game rule book. My cats are being rambunctious in the middle of recording. Which is exactly, I, I knew it was going to happen. We got all of our booster packs right there. We got, you know the deal, uh, damage and poison counters. Got some cool dice. We have, ooh, that's actually a promo. We got a code card for the box that I'm gonna keep. We got our brick of energies. We have our card sleeves, which I am actually going to be using because I'm out of my blue ones. So I'm going to go ahead and just open these bad boys. There we go. Use those. And of course we got these dividers for sorting your cards. All that's getting going to get put back in here. And now, the promo card that we get with this set, or with this particular box, Greninja Star. I'm not sure what set this is from. I'm very unfamiliar with older Pokemon sets. I feel like this might have been an X and Y reprint. You can see it's got the 25th anniversary stamp, and it is a Black Star promo for sword and shield even though it is a an a reprint of an older card also it says on the bottom i don't know if this will focus but the text on the bottom and again if you can't really read it it says come on this card cannot be used in official tournaments that's all it says i don't know how other youtubers get their shit to focus in on text that small put Greninja in one of these sleeves and we'll give him a hard case just for funsies all right and there we go Greninja has a new home we have a bunch of these smaller celebrations packs mixed in with some newer sword and shield packs um why is this one back? Oh, this is a chilling rain. That's why. Okay. So for celebrations packs, you get four cards per pack. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten celebrations packs and five sword and shield packs. We have a chilling rain, a vivid voltage, another chilling rain, battle styles, and another chilling rain. Um, so... Let's go ahead, let's crack open a Vivid Voltage, since it's been a while. Let's go ahead and just crack that open. Here we go. Get that out of there. Um, oh sh I almost revealed the... Here you go, just sl that slides off just like so. We're gonna go three to the front, getting rid of Fire Energy. All right, we got Mighty Anna, Matang, Windon Stadium, 
Weedle, Beldum, Fanpy, Duskull, Electrike. We have a reverse Manectric. And on the back, a Wimscott. So once again, Vivid Voltage has let me down. Vivid Voltage, man. I, I don't have any luck with Vivid Voltage. I got the one... I got the Secret Rare Nessa Full Art, if you guys remember that. But, um... That card's value has significantly dropped. Let's just say. Alright, so... We're gonna op go ahead and open a Celebrations Pack. These ones seem to be a little tougher to open. Okay, I think the code cards on these are always white. Um, I could be wrong. If not, then I just gave away that we have something really good in this pack. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the celebrations cards for myself. And these don't have an order, so I'm just gonna go th from front to back. We got a holographic Lugia. Holy shit, that is a cool looking, cool looking card. We have Ho uh Oh, his counterpart. We have Rockets Admin with this cool, like, speckled background. Also, this kind of has a texture to it. I don't know. You can kind of see it on the card itself. It has, like, a texture. This is from Team Rocket set. This, this reprint. I'm not sure. Could be wrong. What's this say on the bottom? Copyright 2004. Jeez. All right, and then on the back, woo, baby, we got a Mew. Mew. Ah, oh, look at it, it's so cute. Look at that hollow. That's really cool. I'm debating putting all of these cards in hard cases, but I'm not sure. So right now I'm just gonna put them in some softies. And then whenever I get the prices while I'm editing this video, I will go ahead and assign hard cases as necessary. There we go. And I'm going to keep them just separated from my other cards. We're going to go ahead and crack open into another celebrations pack. I'm going to keep that code for myself and you have Kyogre or Kyogre however you want to pronounce it Groudon his counterpart sensing a theme here we got Cosmoem and Lunala it's evolved form wow that's not super exciting but still pretty dang cool and I think I'm right, yeah, all the code cards in the Celebrations packs do have white backs because they're all going to be holographic or better. There are special reprints, like I said, of uh, vintage cards that I'm really chasing here. Although, uh, I don't know what specific ones I'm chasing, so... It makes for a bit of an awkward situation, so we're going to go ahead and crack into a battle styles just to follow up i feel like doing a two to one is a it's just good come on pokemon card game let me open your packs guys have you missed this premium crack oh yeah there we go you guys can have the battle styles code there you go. Three to the front, getting rid of a grass. And we have single strike style mustard. We have a gold beat. Bruno. Come on, Cameron. Focus. Bell Sprout. We have an Onyx. Spiro. Sizzlipede. Shinx. We have a reverse Yamper. And on the back, we have a clay doll. All right, so once again, the uh, the um, regular packs have let me down. I'm sensing an, another pattern that I'm not sure I, I, I like. I'm just gonna crack open in the next celebrations pack. 
Just rip it open from the side here. Oh, come on. Come on. Jesus. <sighs> I'm going to keep that code card for myself. And we have a Cosmog on the front here crying like a little baby. We have a Yveltal. So you guys can see that shine. We have a Zekrom. And on the back, Solgaleo. Not my favorite of the legendaries. I was more of a Lunala. Because, and not just because I played Pokemon Moon and not Pokemon Sun. Or is that, do I have that the other way around? God, now I can't, no. No, I, I, I have Pokemon Moon. <laughs> I thought it was one of those situations where you get the one game and you get the opposite legendary. That has never been a situation in any Pokemon game. I'm my mind is my mind is elsewhere right now. It's been a weird day. I made my streaming comeback, so if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash shadow sense music. Link in the description. Um Street, I was my return game was Stardew Valley because I just love the vibes. All right, so on this one, we have another Groudon, another Lugia, we have a Cosmog, and we have a Zacian V on the back. Look at that sword dog in all of his glory. Zacian V, is that how you pronounce it? Zacian, Zacian. I'm, I've never been quite sure. Um, what I do know about this set is that some of these cards, like this Lugia and um, Groudon, and especially Cosmog, extremely common pulls, like very high pull rate, especially for Cosmog. Um, as far as everyone else, I don't know, but I know Cosmog, is, people pull like a lot. All right, we're gonna crack open to our first Chilling Rains. Haven't opened a lot of Chilling Rains packs. It's not a set that I was super interested in. The only things I, I really wanted from the set were the Galarian Legendary Birds, but that's about it. Code. One, two, three. Of course, the Galarian Birds are possible to be pulled here. I'm fairly certain, I would expect. We got Melanie, we have Brawly, starting off two trainer, two trainers, we got a Whirlipede, Galarian Farfetch'd, Cast Form in his rainy form, we got a Larvesta, Sobble, we got a very cute Lediba, we have a Reverse Doctor, and on the back, Sauce Bug, oh my god, do they just fuck you on the normal packs? And save all the good shit for the celebrations packs? What is happening? I'm not sure. And I don't think I like it. Alright, we have six more celebrations packs to go. So we're gonna switch to three to one. I'm gonna do three back to back celebrations and then one chilling rains. Um, actually, we're gonna go. Yeah, because I wanna save one celebrations for last. So. Gonna stick two to one, actually. I'm keeping that code. We got Dialga. Xerneas, one of my favorite legendaries. Whoa! Guys! This is one of the cards I was talking about. The reprints of like a vintage card. Again, it's not a Charizard. However, it is a Blastoise. And Blastoise is still really fucking good. Look at that. This is a literal carbon copy of its original card. You can see there, its original set number, the illustrator, just fucking everything. It's like they took a photocopy of the card. Yeah, it's got a texture on it. This is getting hard cased for sure. And on the back, we have a what? We got the full art Pikachu. The full art fat rat. Look at him. Look at him just chilling in the forest like a fucking badass. You know what? He's also getting hard cased. Just because. Because I said so. You know who who 
Who makes up the rules for what gets a hard case and doesn't? Whoever's opening the packs, right? Here we go. We got Pikachu in a hard case. Got to put Blastoise in a soft sleeve. There we go. Blastoise now has a home in a hard case. Very good pull. Very good pull. Oh, also, I got to put Xerneas and Dialga in soft sleeves. Because I'm not an asshole. All right. Another celebrations. Oh, come on, you fuck. Come on, you fuck. Jesus Christ. You can't... <sighs> Pokemon. America? Please make your packs easier to open. Because holy shit. That's way too hard to open. Code is mine. Alright, on the front here, we have a Kyogre. We have Yveltal, once again. Ooh, we got something real good on the back, y'all. Oh! What the shit is this? Whoa! Whoa! Look at the Zekrom! Yeah, and it's, it's number 114 of 114. I don't know if you can really see that down there. But holy shit! What's on the back? Yeah, and we got a full art flying Pikachu VMAX. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, I mean, at the time of recording, I don't know if either of these cards are valuable, but... Holy shit, they're cool as fuck. If I were to start, like, a card display set up somewhere I, these cards would 100% be in it in a heartbeat right along to my shiny Charizard V Max which also drastically dropped in value since I opened it Jesus Christ I accidentally grabbed two hard cases that is nuts all right so now we're gonna move on to the penultimate Chilling rain before we move on to any other um, celebrations. Here's your code. Three to the front. I don't think anything's going to be better than those cards I just pulled. Electric energy we're getting rid of. All right, we have a layer on. Expedition uniform. An old cemetery, creepy for this time of year. Quillfish. Ralts. Heracross. Cast form Sunny. Sfeel, my favorite little round boy. We have a reverse Lediba. And on the back, Slurpuff. Alright, yeah, see, I think they fuck you purposely on the uh, regular packs. That way they can just front load everything on them. Uh, the celebrations pack. This is the third to last celebrations. I thought this video would be a lot shorter, but it's not. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let me take this code. We have a Xerneas. We have another Cosmog. We have another Zekrom. Not as cool as the one I just pulled. And then we got the other dog. Zamazenta V. Full art, baby. Definitely worthy of its sleeve. All right. Oh wow, we actually had four more? Apparently. So this is actually the third to last celebrations pack. I should just get a bunch of loose celebration packs eventually, but I think they're selling for ridiculous right now. Of course, everything Pokemon sells ridiculous right now. Code is mine. We have a Reshiram, our first one. We have a Dialga once again. Whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? We got Rocket Zapdos? Holy shit, how old is this card? 99. And it's got that texture on it. That's so fucking dope. Another good pull. 
Oh, um, oh my god. Oh my god. So I don't know if these boxes are seated in any way, but this feels like too much of a coincidence. I think there is a sort of seating. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but holy shit. You're gonna give me a full art professor's research. And you're going to give me a Rockets Zapdos. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the second to last celebrations. Then we'll do Chilling Rain. Then we'll do the final celebrations pack. Enjoy cracking those down the spine. Feels just very good. We have a Lugia. A Reshiram. A Zekrom. And we have a surfing Pikachu V, baby! Full art! Look at him, only one of his eyes glows. I guess they both technically glow. But, on a roll with these pulls, man. Although I think surfing Pikachu V might be one of the more common of the, uh, of the really cool pulls. I just realized I didn't put any of my other boys in their soft sleeves yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick minute to do so. Alright, so, we got our final Chilling Rains pack, our final of the regular booster packs. And then we'll move on to the final Chilling Rain, or the final Celebrations, rather. Curse both sets having names that start with the letter C. Here's your code. Put three to the front, getting rid of a Fighting Energy. We have Avery. Ledian, Old Cemetery, Snowrunt, Weedle, Cast Form, Quillfish, Ralts, a Reverse Flannery, one of my favorite gym leaders, and on the back, Sawsbuck, once again. So I think my theory is right. They front load, a, or they back load a bunch of celebrations, and they give you nothing in the regular packs. Which makes sense. You don't want. You don't want the random packs that you throw in these boxes to outsell the what the box the the product <laughs> that you're trying to sell. So I guess that makes sense. But also, fuck you. Would have been cool if I got the the rainbow fat Pikachu in that vivid voltage booster. But once again, I did not. Speaking of, I should do more vivid voltage chases. Anyway, we have a Dialga. Yveltal, another Cosmog, and to end things off, we have another full art fat Pikachu sitting in the forest. So, this is a great set. This has been a very fun opening for me. I enjoyed all of these cards. Except for the regular packs. The regular packs were kind of bleh. Don't really care for them. But... I would say I definitely got my money's worth based on just what's on these in, in these hard cases. So thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.